Hi, my name is Gala. I am a Looker Studio expert and the founder of Gaily Reports. Today, we will talk about one of my Looker Studio templates. I go to template store, scroll down, and found Google Analytics for organic traffic dashboard. You can click here and see some details of this template. And this is a template store, a template page. Let's see what do we have here. Here we have logo, header, logo you can change for your project, of course. And here we have last seven days ACO performance. Um, let's check where our data, this data came from. I go to resource, manage, edit data source. And here on the GA4 fluid. This is GA4 demo account that you easily could connect to your Gmail account and use it. It's super easy. And they talk about that on during my online course. Um, but what is interesting here? This is ACO performance. So all chart on this dashboard has filter. Every chart has a filter, organic traffic. And uh, here I use only organic. But in G4, you have organic search, organic social, and organic video. So if you want to specify your traffic, you can update filter and type search, for example, and filter only organic search data. But I want to show all organic traffic. And if you click to any chart, it will have this filter. Um, yeah. So, but let's talk about metrics. We have two charts here, time series chart and score box. Active users, easy. We have active users in J4. Percentage of new users, in this I use formula. I divide new, user, new users by active users. Average engagement time doesn't exist. So I have to write formula. User engagement divided by active users. Uh, conversions. This is conversions. No, no tricks here. And this is conversion rate. So we divide conversions by active users. This number looks weird. It is okay. Because in J4 demo account, uh, they count every page view as a conversion. And because of that, this conversion rate is more than 100%. But I'm sure that when you set up J4 for your project, uh, this number will be less than 100% and it will be more relevant and more accurate. Let's go to the demo. So here we have last seven, day, seven days performance. When we scroll down, we can see this month's date performance. Here we have same metrics, but change data range from seven days to a month. And we can compare uh, these two data ranges. When we scroll down, we can see current month events by type. Here you can see all events and some custom, not custom, but it's some events that you have in any J4 account, this is default events. And here you have time series chart for current month with and five top events. How does it work? When you have your J4, when you connect to this template, your J4 account, you can scroll down and change filter and change event name from default page view to your real um, to your real event could be form sent video watch to click to some object whatever you think it could be nice to track and also i change here so metric original metric is event count but i change name to page view when you update this template and update uh, this event please update this metric name as well uh, yeah. Same logic for other events. Here I use default event. I recommend you to change to your real events. Uh, on time series chart, nothing interesting here. So it's a regular time series chart. Then we can see current month's ACO performance by source. 
uh, we can go to the view more again. So here we have channel. As I mentioned before, we have organic search, organic video, and organic social. And you can see all of them here. Then we have session source and session medium. And we can see some breakdown of like where exactly your traffic, your users came from. Uh, social medium, we have organic and referral. So maybe it's nice to have, or you can remove this column if you don't need, if it is not, if it doesn't make sense for your project. Then we have sessions, active users, average engagement time. This is formula, as I mentioned, as I said before, event count, conversions, and engagement rate. So here are no formulas, just regular metrics. But I applied this organic filter for this, for this chart. Bum, bum, bum. I think that is it about this chart. And the last section of the dashboard, this current month's performance by device. Here we have sessions and conversions by device type, uh, by mobile, mm, by mobile device, or not device, but mobile operation system, and desktop by um, desktop uh, operation system. So you can see that, for example, this Google uh, demo account, they don't have iOS session, probably, for sure you will have. <laughs> so this is Google account and all the mobile session come from Android. And desktop, you have like Windows, Macintosh, so you can see sessions and conversions. And you can compare like, okay, for mobile we had 88% of sessions, but 93% of conversions. It means that mobile traffic converted well, better than desktop traffic. And here we have supporting table where you can see this data in detail and you see device category and operation system, session, active users, average engagement time, events, conversions, and engagement rate, same like here. That is it. I think this template is super easy to use, uh, but it takes some time to create this template because of some filters and calculated fields. But yeah, I think it's super nice to have and uh, it shows main data, main ACO traffic data and it's super useful. Let me know if you like it or if you want to buy this template, you can do it on my website. Also, you can buy it and configure it and customize it or you can ask me to help you customize this template. It's possible as well. So I really like it because it's simple, powerful and really clean and shows data in an easy way. Let me know how do you like this template and leave comments and see you soon.